welcome to Cart Circuit Audubon. My name is Al Bertinoli. I am general manager here at Cart Circuit Audubon, which is part of the Audubon Country Club. We're going to be shooting a series of videos on cart setup and cart maintenance. We'll be covering several aspects of the go-kart, like your carburetor, your clutch, the front end of the go-kart, and other aspects of the go-kart that will optimize and maximize the performance of your go-kart. For today's video, we're going to be shooting a video on how to maintain your carburetor and clean it, disassemble, reassembly. It's very critical that you maintain your carburetor and clean it out very frequently as today's modern ethanol fuels uh, are not very kind to the carburetor or at, at other aspects of the go cart. The type of tools that you're going to need for today's video are two 10 millimeter box head wrenches, a flathead screwdriver, and a Phillips head screwdriver. So for today's video, let's hop to it and get into the car carburetor maintenance. So the first step is very simple. You just need a flathead screwdriver to actually remove the air filter. Just turn it counterclockwise, actually remove the air filter right off. You can set it in the seat. The next step would be to actually remove the slide and the throttle cable. It's just a twist cap on the senior cart here. The junior cart will also have a locking ring on here, but for today's video, we're just doing the senior cart. Be careful as you pull this out though, because there is a spring in here and there's a cable. So as you pull it out, you'll notice the slide, the spring, and the needle all come out together. That's the first step. The last step would be to take two 10 millimeter wrenches and loosen the actual carburetor here. You're gonna need two tens, and you'll just remove that on both sides here, one on this side and one on that side. So for today's cleaning, and for most cleanings, you'll probably wanna remove the slide and the needle assembly. Um, this cart's been sitting for two years, um, so it's a perfect candidate for cleaning. The actual slide itself is very sticky because of the ethanol and the fuel. You'll notice there's green on the needle. The needle should be perfectly nice and silver. So what we're gonna to wanna to do here is actually remove the actual throttle cable out of here to, to, to get the actual, um, uh, yeah, it should come out easy, but it is gummed up. You'll notice, see how the throttle cable came out of there, but it, it is very sticky. Once again, this thing needs a really good cleaning. So this is a perfect candidate for a carb clean. So now that we have the carburetor removed from the go-kart and I have it on the bench here, I've already pre-moved. I have the carburetor upside down so it sits nice and level. Uh, the two uh, Allen, excuse me, two Phillips head screws, screws actually hold the float ball on. I have those lo loosened already. And as I pull this off, you're going to notice um, there is a lot of darkness in here. These should be very bright golds, very similar to the cap that are here. So as I had mentioned before, this go-kart has been sitting for about two years. And you'll also notice inside of the float bowl itself, there's a lot of old, old uh, gas that had dried up in here. So this residue, all of this has to come out. The easiest way to do that, uh, this, this actually carburetor may have to soak for a while in mineral spirits. Or what you can also do is use a carb cleaner. Carb cleaner is a little bit more caustic than uh, as far as abrasiveness goes with uh, brake cleaner. Brake cleaner will work as well too, but carb cleaner will work much better. But just be careful with it. Uh, you can actually remove the screws out of here and please be keeping in mind that there's also a gasket in here that probably will have to be replaced. Uh, you can see it's actually squashed in some of the corners from sitting for so long. But I would replace the, the, the actual um, gasket that goes in here. You can put this aside. Um, what we're actually going to do at this point in time, you'll notice many of the components in here need a real, very good cleaning. They need to be soaked in carburetor cleaner or some sort of caustic cleaner of some sort. And it's very simple. Once again, you're going to have to use a flathead screwdriver. This is the main jet. You have to pull that out. Uh, it's very simple. Just unscrew it. It should come out. Oh man, that's pretty cool. That's, this one came out very easily. I wasn't sure if it was going to after being uh, in there for so long, but you'll notice how dark it is. It should be bright gold. Uh, the emulsion tube it well, as well comes out with a seven mil millimeter Allen. You can just take that out as well. Pull all of this in, all of this out because all of this this stuff actually fuel flows through these air, and the needle sits in this as well too. So you have to pull all that out. You'll notice it's very hard to see on camera, but there are very very tiny small holes in here. Um, all of this is going to have to be cleaned. Uh, this actual tube should come out as well too. All of these parts need to be cleaned. Uh, the easiest way to clean these carts is actually soak them. Uh, I would say soak them at least overnight. Now, keep in mind that you're not always going to have to do it this, to this level, but this cart and this actual um, carburetor had been sitting for a couple of years. This is not stuff that you're going to have to do on a normal basis. If you're racing your cart frequently or if you're wanting to clean it or just making sure it's clean, 
you can remove these parts, spray some carburetor cleaner or brake cleaner in there and reassemble the carburetor. Now there's one final step I'm gonna show you as well too. That's the actual removal of the float needle. There's a pin that actually holds this in here. You can just poke this in here if I could actually find it. You'll notice it comes out one side. Just hang on to it with your hand. Keep your hands on the float floats themselves. You can take that out. And as you lift this out here, be very careful because the actual float needle here, this, this part here is sitting on a wire. And as you pull this forward, you can actually take it off. So it actually slides in and off, off of, off of the floats, very simple. But once again, all of these components need to be cleaned. Uh, the floats themselves look pretty good in this cart, but I would they, they are a little bit sticky. I would still clean them. But this part itself, I would either replace on this particular carburetor because it is sticky or just do a very good cleaning on it. Now that we have the carburetor body fully, pretty much fully disassembled, um, what you can do is actually soak this entire body in here. You can actually get a little bit further into this, but for purposes of what we're trying to accomplish here and getting this cart running properly, um, you can actually soak this whole body of, in either mineral spirits for uh, this carburetor, I'd probably soak it for a couple days to actually get all of the, all of the goo out of here um, and all of the rest of the components. Um, one of the things that I wanted to show you here is the difference between what we had here for a cart that had been sitting for a while, the carburetor. Now you'll hear, here's one that's completely reassembled. It's very clean. You'll notice how nice and clean the components are. The floats bounce up and down very nicely. That's nice. The gasket itself adheres very good to, to the cap itself. Um, all the components here work as they should. And this is what the carb should look like on a day-to-day -day basis. Even, a, even in a used go-kart, all the components should be clean. Keep in mind that the fuel flows through here in many of the small orifices. You want it to be perfectly clean. And that's why I had mentioned earlier, if you're racing your go-kart and you're very serious about this, you want to make sure your carburetor is in tune. So some of the things that you, know, that you want to do to make your go-kart go fast and be consistent Carburetor is one of them. The clutch is one of them. But obviously, for today's purposes, we're covering the carburetor, and and it's very important. It's very important to be clean. It's very important to be in tune and make sure the fuel flows there very freely, especially with today's modern ethanol fuels that we're using the pump gas. Okay, so now everything's clean. We're going to reassemble the carburetor. It's a repeat process of what we did to disassemble it. You notice everything is silver and gold as it should be. So we, we removed all the debris and residue off of there. The first step first is going to be repeat the process of disassembly. We're going to put the floats back in, make sure that the float needle goes in. And then there's a hole over here for the rod to go in. It is a little bit tricky to get in at times, but once you find it, it goes straight in. That's the first step. Make sure it bounces up and down very freely like this one is. Very good. Next step is to put this emulsion tube in here. Flathead screwdriver once again. My hand out of the way. You want to make sure these are pretty snug, but you don't want to damage them. Just get them good and snug. The emulsion tube goes in. That is a, once again, the seven millimeter box end works fine for that. And that nice and tight. Then the main jet would be the last step. Oh. Fumbled the hand off. There we go. My hand out of the way. There we go. Last step would be actually be the put the float bowl cap on. The easiest way to do this to keep the gasket now, you notice this gasket is nice and new in here. The easiest way to do that is actually just get the carburetor, tilt it over like that, make sure it goes on. And there you go. So what we do is we, the last step would be to button up the cap. Once again, we're using our Phillips head screwdriver to do that. You have a clean carburetor, it's ready to reassemble onto the actual go-kart. And once again, that's a repeat process. And we'll show you that in just a minute. All right, so the, fir so the first step of reassembling the carburetor onto the go-kart itself would be actually to put the needle and the slide into the spring. Now I have the spring in my hand here and you'll see that the end of the cable is actually a barrel, which fits inside the slide like this, very simple. And you pull it like that, make sure that the actual, the spring goes inside. Now we're ready to insert the slide and the needle inside the body of the carburetor. 
The next step would be to actually put the body of the carburetor, a nice clean carburetor, back on the go-kart. Once again, you're going to need two 10 millimeter box end wrenches to do this. So the last step is to actually put the slide the needle with the cap on there. We're also going to insert the fuel line on the back and then we're going to put the breather hose on the bottom and actually put the, the actual uh, air filter on the bottom. Now the slide only goes in one way, the cap only fits on one way, so you'll know right away if the slide goes in nice and easy, you've got it right. Uh, the cap itself fits on there nice and flush. You can hold it with your finger, then screw the cap on there. It should, it should go on very, very easy. And they say it should. There we go. What you want to do once you get that on is you want to actually go and push on the gas pedal to make sure that the slide goes up nice and smoothly. I'll do that real quick. Oh yeah, perfect. Uh, the last step here would to be actually put the fuel line on here. Um, then the breather hose on the bottom. There's a little clip on there. And then the last and final step would be to put the air filter back on. Uh, once again, it's a flathead screwdriver. It should, it should go right onto the carburetor very easy, like that. You're gonna need another flathead screwdriver. Tighten the air filter. And there we go. We've actually completed a full cleaning of the carburetor on our Briggs & Stratton LO206 engine on top of the actual Margate Ignite chassis and cart. Um, the cart now will run good. It will run clean. Uh, the fuel should flow through there perfectly and uh, we'll have a fast race cart. Thanks again for watching our uh, series on cart setup. Today we covered cart cleaning and follow us on social media. Thanks very much.